out for me. This is a big deal. This is a big thing for me. me look so many other people in the world where you know could I get that, this award today and I'm the one who was a recipient of this award. It might look like a small thing to most people but it is a big thing for me. This has nothing to do with money or fame or vanity. This one is all about self-worth. So big when I look where I'm coming from and where I am today, all I can say thank you, Jesus, you know. God never called me out. When everybody has called me out, God never called me out. Seven years ago, come to America, leave my kids them behind. Come here, no family, no friends, no nothing. All I had was the vision. A start of a thousand miles begins with one step. You know, all I had was a dream and God beside me, stand up beside me. And then God bless me with beautiful people, beautiful supportive people who stood beside me. People I'm gonna know from nowhere. Take me for them family, call me them sister, call me them daughter. And they support me, you know what I mean? Not just financially, but they support me because mentally, you know, coming here without no family to live in America, trust me, that's not an easy thing for come here not have not a cousin, not a uncle, not a brother, not a aunt, not a mom, not a dad, nobody. You know? People will sit down on the phone and talk to me encourage me and say you got this stay focused you know what i mean and some people might look at this oh what she be able so far but for me this is a big deal this is a big thing for me big big when i look look a dry foot lover from what a banana ground sore sore foot dry foot dry head nutty head lover whenever you have soap beard never have clothes to wear shoes to wear not at all Nothing. You to sleep on the look of wire bed. When you move one part of the wire, juke your backside. You, can't, you have to stay steady on it. From the grass. Nobody can stop me from talk about my story. Nobody can stop me from talk about my story and talk about my struggle. You know what I mean? Nobody can stop me from because that's what that's it is my story. It's not nobody else's story. It is my story. And most people who know me know that I'm not lying. Most people who know me, everybody who know me, I'm of fact, no, I'm not lying. They know my story. They know my struggle. They know my parents. My parents is probably the poorest one off. Used to be, thank God, not anymore. Used to be financially. Because financially poor. Because financially poorest, you know, you have different type of poor. But financially poorest in my community growing up, I used to... See, a lot of people take advantage of my father. Work him and give him one little bit of money. And him, used to, him always willing to go work and do it. To make sure so we eat. No care what them give him. Take it and him go fuck up them land. And anybody know a girl know. Or people used to take him for fool. But daddy, look at your daughter today. You know, if you do it now, you want to do it. And you know that. Because he's a hard working man. My mother see him. I used to wash people dirty clothes. You used to take people old clothes and turn it on the wrong side and sweat over and make something give it that's so okay and wear. Yeah. It's a far journey, you know. It's a far journey. And it, this is just the beginning. I know I have a far way to go. This is just the beginning. I don't even touch the surface as yet. This is just the beginning, trust me me this far to leave me. I have many trials and tribulation. Many trials and tribulation. I've been through so many different but I don't focus on the bad things that ever happened to me. I always try, you know, to see the good in them and persevere. I would never tell nobody my life was ever easy. Up to today it's not easy. Some things we may have to do today just to survive. People you would never know say, oh, she have two restaurants, she have it all. Hell no, I don't have it all together. No.
I don't have it all together. I still struggle every day just like most people. You know, try to get by. But I learn not to complain. You know what I mean? I learn not to complain. Every day I get up, I give God thanks. Every day I get up, I give God thanks. Give thanks in the good times and in the, in the bad times, I still give God thanks. <laughs> I look so many other people in the world where, you know, could I get that, this award today and I'm the one who was a recipient of this award like it might look like a small thing to most people but it is a big thing for me it is a big big accomplishment for me everything I do is like a big it might seem small but it's a big accomplishment for me you know Thanks to everybody who stood beside me, everybody who cheer me on, uplift me, support me. <laughs> when I see me get nominated for the award, I'm going to put up my dress. I get about four dresses on my house. When people just see me, I just buy a dress and send come give me say, This is for you got the award. I get shoes, I get all kind of something. But after me, the, me, me purchase a dress and it couldn't fit me, and me bring bring the dress to that to this designer for him to, you know, fix it. And him say, no, I can't fix. Me not adding a use and him say, let me make you a dress, man, or whatever. And me say, all right. And him sketch out something and show me. I say, yeah, that look nice. And me end up get that dress. About so about four people send me dress. Nicole said my dress, Mick Nicole Staten Island said my dress, Josephine said my dress, Josephine, thank you for the shoes, Nick, um, Nicolette, pay for the nails and stuff, thank you guys so much, thank you guys so, so much, like, thank you so much, thank you for being a part of my journey, you know, thank you guys so, so much, God is good. And you know my prayer blessing over each and every one of you. I send positive energy, you guys. Where anything when I got you, whether financial stress, illness, family problem, emotional problem, I pray healing and deliverance over on life, and I pray happiness and peace. You know what I mean? Real happiness come from peace. When you have peace from within, that's how you get happiness. If you don't have peace in within, no care amount of money you have, no care the big house so you live in, no care car where you drive, you're not going to have no happiness. You know what I mean? So you have to find that little peace within you. Find peace. Learn to forgive. One of our biggest issues when we learn to forgive, we eat and all animosity now we are too much. You know, I tell myself so I will never come on social media and preach to nobody about certain things anymore because every time I try and come and try to spin it and put a negative light on it. But I can't help myself, you know, this is who I am. You know, I have nothing else to talk about but my story. I, I can't come on social media and, and speak on nobody else's life, nobody else's story because that's, you know, I only can speak on my story, my journey. I have nothing else. That's why I'm going to come live because I don't have much to talk about. Because I'm going to only speak on me. You know what I mean? And what I have going on. And yes, guys, when I ask me for restaurant open, yeah, the restaurant, then both restaurants open. I have, each restaurant have two chefs plus servers. Why my restaurant are closed if I'm not there? Both restaurants are still open. Everything is on the menu. To be honest, most of the time I'm most a baker at the restaurant. Them, to be honest, me have chef, big up chef Andrew, big up chef John. Me shouldn't even bother calling the name, you know. Big up everybody, all of my employees, them a support system, a partner. Big up on myself, big up everybody. Love and appreciate my kids. Them big up, big up my daughter. I was stand up and. Help me take care of my son while I come out and come tired, you know. Big up my daughter. We might cuss and quarrel sometimes, but you don't know. Love and respect. You have your own daughter to look after. You take up the responsibility of taking care of my son while I jump on the back of the field and come do the do what I have to do. Love and appreciate you for that. Because no young girl is not going to do that, you know what I mean? Big up my mother, my father, my brother. 
So my grandma dead. So my grandma never alive to see certain things, but God know best, you know. He got me so sorry, of course. He got me so sorry, don't know how much I hear my big one from a command. We must stay home and take care of business. Big up Shelly ever clean for the nice ear. Yes, yeah, Shelly ever clean for the nice ear. <laughs> My aunt carried to the back of the seat down the front. <laughs> I will go sleep right in that into the because I have nobody for ever zip it down. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? I mean, another place, a piece of hunger leak me, see, man. So when the hungry leave me in another place because by the time I forgot to get my ear and makeup done and come back, whenever I reach when my hour start six o'clock and eight o'clock, I about to eat me just uh, go downstairs. Go down there. Yeah, finally get to meet my brother Chris and if Chris stood me up, Chris go away, boy more asleep. Can you imagine? I said when the beef come. You can't see the rear end of the beef, you know. When I dip it in the, cut it up and just dip it in the salt and start box that you see. <laughs> in a no time. Hey, dimple. In a no time, the food done. I'm like, I want to take a little lady plate side of me and eat it. I'm hungry and lick me from morning. <laughs> uh, in a no time, a box. <laughs> But the box of the food. <laughs> I look at the lady beside me and I eat fear. <laughs> yeah. Oh. No, sir. Oh, get a one nice thing. Trust me.